Hey, how's it going? I'm Katie Chowdhury and I'm here with a weekly tip for you today. I'm going to try to make this just about five minutes, a little shorter if I can, because I had to put Anthony in timeout because he keeps reaching for my phone slash camera. So we want to try to get this in quickly before we move on with our day today. I want to talk to you a little bit about flexibility training today. Flexibility training for me has always been a weakness. That's why I'm here on the floor with my awesome purple yoga mat. It's always been my weakness. I'm fine with cardio. I learned to incorporate strength training into my routine without it bulking up my body. But the flexibility, I admit, I've always had a hard time with flexibility and I always have pushed it aside thinking honestly that it wasn't necessary or needed. And I've learned a lot since January 1st that it actually increases my cardio and it, it, is, it helps me to burn more calories in my cardio and it helps me to reach even higher levels of kicks in my kickboxing. And I'll kind of demonstrate a little bit of that if I have a, a few seconds at the end just to kind of show you where I was and where I am now today. So some of the things that I put on my goal list was that in two of the workouts that I have been doing, Shaleen Extreme and Turbo Fire, there's an extended stretch, which is called either Stretch 40 or um, I can't remember what it's called in Shaleen Extreme. But anyway, I always sort of skipped it on the days that I was supposed to do it, thinking that I didn't really need it and that I could do an extra cardio or take the day off and it wouldn't hurt me. But no, it really didn't hurt me, but it didn't help me to push my cardio farther than I could. And I learned that as of January 1st, I changed my way of thinking and I said, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, you know, it might hurt, but I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna see if I can, you know, change things around a lot. I played high school basketball and softball. I played college softball, Division II at Lewis University here in Romeoville, Illinois. Um, went all the way to the national championship, went to the Women's College World Series, played center field, batted one or two in the lineup. I was a speedster, and I never developed the part of my hamstrings that stretch that was the slow reactor or whatever that's called. That's what I've been told. Um, I'm, I'm, I have that speedy thing in the back of my leg and it moves too quick and therefore I can't, they never stretch it very well. And the trainer used to always tell me that, that I was very unflexible. So anyway, my goals for this year are to really change that. So I'm going to give you some of the poses or some of the things that I've done that have, that have helped me. And I hope that these are things that you can do within like a 10 minute range. Um, if you can get yourself to get up 10 minutes earlier in the morning, you can get these in before the day begins. You can rev your metabolism a bit, and then that will stay with you for the rest of the day. And you will find, again, if you do these, that these will help you. So I'll explain to you that when I used to do this simple stretch, okay, one leg out, this is my toe, one leg to the side, and I would reach. Now my legs are cold right now, my body is cold, so I can't, I'm not going to hurt myself. But this is about as far as I could stretch this because this is just so tight in the hamstring. But after a heat building section and being warm, I'm able to reach comfortably here around the arch of my foot without it hurting. So some simple poses that I'm going to start with. One is called child pose. And child pose is just your butt sits on your heels and you stretch your arms out on the mat or on the carpet or on your leg. The mat is just good for support. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you this. You're gonna either start in this pose, and you're gonna, you're gonna almost like drag your nose across the, the mat, and pull your, put yourself up into, um, like rounding your back, and come like this, and you round up and come back again. So do that several times. Okay, that kind of is building your heat up a little bit. Another pose that I like is called um, Chaturanga. So you will come up and you kind of do like a tricep push up and then you hold your body up. See how my, my feet are, are down but my knees are up and I'm holding my upper body up. So I'm actually using the strength of my upper body to keep my body up. Okay? And then I can transfer into a down dog. And the down dog really has helped my hamstrings a lot. Down dog is feet are up in the air and your arms, your, your hands are like this, kind of fanned out like a sun. And you push back. You want your heels to touch the ground if possible. I'm not flexible enough yet to do this. But my feet go back. And I can feel this all in here. Okay, so my, my ears are right in between my shoulder blades, like a frame. And my back is as straight as it possibly can be. 
and I'm pushing back as far as possible. If you can just do those few exercises and you can do them in a routine. If you have more questions about that, feel free to contact me. I'm gonna stop for now because I'm gonna get him out and I know that you don't have all the time in the world to be watching me do yoga poses. But these are just a few things that will help you. And I can, I can tell you that my kicks have gone higher and I've been able to just push farther in that cardio. And I, I wear my body glug and I've seen that my calories have been increasing with my cardio. So just something to think about today. Click like below here on YouTube so I can help, my, help get other people to watch this and see that this is important and that this is helpful. Check out my blog, check out my, um, my Facebook like page, and uh, let's stay in touch. Happy to talk to you, have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Make it great.